come and see. If you've got questions about God, Jesus, or religion, come and see for yourself. If what I say is true, then come experience it for yourself. Hello world, my name is David Dorn, and this is Preposterous, which is not your typical Bible study. And we are in the middle of the Gospel of John, chapter one, found in the Bible. Each book of the 66 books that make up the Bible are divided into chapters and verses in order to make reading and studying it much easier for folks like us. We're five episodes in and we're still in chapter one. A lot has happened, so make sure you check out the previous episodes thus far. But Jesus says to someone questioning who he is to come and see for themselves. The next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, what do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where do you stay? Come, he replied, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and they spent that day with him. It was about four in the afternoon. So John the Baptist is doing his thing, baptizing people, it's in his name, when Jesus comes walking by. Now they've already had an exchange. In fact, Jesus and John were cousins. But as Jesus walks by John the Baptist, he declares to some of his followers that look, that's the Lamb of God. Now, why is John the Baptist referring to Jesus as a lamb and not like a bear or elephant or tiger? I mean, tiger of God sounds awesome. Well, in the Old Testament, lambs were used to sacrifice to God in a ceremony to forgive your sins. So when you sin, to be forgiven back then, you must sacrifice an animal and not just any roadkill you found. It had to be perfect, meaning possessing no defects. Lambs were the perfect animal for a sin sacrifice. So when John declares Jesus is the Lamb of God, he is saying that Jesus will fulfill that role to God for us that Jesus would be the last sacrifice needed for us to be forgiven. Paul writes this in the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 3. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus is that for us. So Jesus is chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool when John makes this declaratory statement. Two of his disciples decide to check out this Lamb of God for themselves. They, they start to follow Jesus. And Jesus was all like, what do you want? And they were like, where are you staying? And Jesus was like, come and see. These disciples were asking more than, what's your bachelor pad look like, Jesus? It was a question of getting to know him. They wondered what this Lamb of God business was like. Jesus' response was, come and see. If you've got questions about me, he says, come and see for yourself. They did, and they spent the day with Jesus. One of them was Andrew, who later became one of the disciples and led his brother Peter to come and see Jesus too. Peter went on to become the de facto leader of the disciples. But do you have questions about this Jesus? Do you have questions about faith and religion? Jesus' response to you is the same as it was 2,000 years ago. Come and see for yourself who I am. Somewhere toward the end of the 20th century, we left what was known as modernity. And we entered a new era of human Western thought called postmodernism. Postmodern thought is this, that there is no absolute truth. You can have a truth, I can have a truth, and they're both equally true. Modernity wasn't like that. Modernity was all about logic and reason and absolutes. But postmodernism is all about skepticism and the belief that there are no absolutes, including no absolute morality. So live and let live, or you just do you. Everything is relative to the individual. With all that being said though, religion, specifically Christianity, is all about an absolute truth. It's the truth that God loves us and wants to deal with the problems that sin in our lives creates. It's the truth that God came to us in the person of Jesus and went to the cross to take on the consequences to our sin and through his actions we can be made right with God as God makes all things right again. Don't believe me? Come and see. Come and see what Jesus is about. 
I'm going to be breaking down the words, teachings, and actions of Jesus all throughout the book of John. I hope that you'll get to know the person and character of a God who comes to us. Paul says in the book of Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. At the end of John chapter 1, a guy named Nathaniel was skeptical that Jesus was who everyone said he was. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Come and see, said Philip, his brother. When Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching, he said of him, Here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me? Nathaniel asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus said, You believe because I told you I saw you under a fig tree. You will see greater things than that. He then added, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Friends, if you've got questions, Jesus sees you already and invites you to come and check this stuff out for yourself. And in the process, I believe you will see the great things that God has done. So the question of the day is this, what about Jesus, faith, or religion? Are you still searching for answers? If you're honest about that, that's when you can start finding answers to your questions. Oh, did I tell you that like in those six years I was away, I wrote a book, several actually, but this one's called Reclaiming Anger. If you know somebody who struggles with anger, this is the book for them. I break down like how to deal with your anger biblically because there's a way that God calls us to do anger and there's the way that we typically do anger and we normally do it wrong. So if you'd like to pick up this book you can get it on Amazon, link is down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video and share it on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe here for more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel, you can always contribute to my Patreon. And make sure you can follow me on social media. All the links are down below. As always, everything you ever want to see is on the website, preposterousproject.com. I'll see you again soon. God bless.